What's going on y'all? This is Christian Puckett here with Golf Auto Direct. I just wanted to send you a quick walk around video of the 2020 Toyota RAV4 XLE that we're looking at together. This one's gonna be white in color. It's gonna be super nice. It's gonna have those aluminum alloy wheels. Those are gonna be super clean. It's gonna have some chrome trim around the windows up here and it's gonna have a little raise in the roof for uh, support for a luggage rack, something like that. Coming around to the back, it's looking really nice. You're gonna have the black trim around the uh, window glass. And of course, you're gonna have your lift gate back here. Dual exhaust tips in the back. That looks super nice also. So you're gonna have the dual exhaust down there. Coming into the back storage area. You're gonna have your temporary tire and jack and different tools that you would need to uh, do that all down there at your disposal. Gonna have a little uh, pull out sunscreen right here that you can pull through here and hook into these little slots. And that way when you close the window back down, not a whole lot of sun will be pushing down and going into the vehicle. We can close that down. And of course, you're gonna have uh, your rear windshield wipers. Gotta make sure you can see while you're driving. Let's go ahead and step inside the vehicle. On my initial inspection on the outside, I'm not seeing any dents, dings, scratches, any chips, any, any imperfections at all. This vehicle is super clean. I'm not noticing any damages at all. I mean, it is a 2020, so the headlights and everything is looking super clean. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. We're going to have the power driver's seat over here. Going to have the uh, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. So look at the power seats again. Fully operational. Going to have these really nice black cloth seats. You can have your headlight controls over there. Let's go ahead and step inside the vehicle. You're gonna have your telescopic steering wheel right here to allow you uh, to adjust it. Vehicle is in eco mode right now. Odometer is right at 18,952. Parking brake is engaged. You're gonna have an electric parking brake right here. Uh, this is by your shifter to your right hand side. You're gonna have your eco, your normal, and your sport mode. Over here on your steering wheel, you're gonna have a lot of really nice features. You're gonna have the voice notifications, phone access. You're gonna have all that right here, volume, uh, the buttons that you would need to answer and hang up phone calls, all that's right there. Your cruise control, you're gonna have forward sensing collision control, and you're also gonna have lane mitigation control, allow, um, allowing to uh, keep you in your lane better and uh, not hitting anybody that's slowing down in front of you. And you're gonna have your controls for your cruise right here. Looks like you're gonna have some seeks for, seeks for your radio and different modes on your radio as well. Blinkers, everything checks out. Windshield wipers checking out. Here's a look at your entertainment center. This one's gonna have a, um, a pretty simple setup. You're gonna have your apps over here. This one's gonna come with some different options for your phone. You can hook up your phone in here. This one's gonna have um, the ability for you to install a navigation app, uh, which is probably something you would have to pay monthly for. Um, not sure, but it also has phone projection just in case. So you can mirror your phone to this screen. Uh, if you want to use like your phone's navigation or anything like that. But you have all your controls for your radio and everything like that. All that's all up here. You're going to have dual AC controls. That's always super nice. And these knobs feel awesome. They're, they're like a rubberized, very slick, very um, fluid movement. I like this. Um, AC controls right here. Your AC and... Um, you know, direction control, fan speed, all that's gonna be right there. Your auto start stop button is gonna be right there. You can turn that on and off whenever you'd like. 
as well as your traction control. There's gonna be some charging options down here for you to use and charge your phone. You got a little tray to put all your phones and cords in and they don't get jambled everywhere. There's some, uh, there looks like there's some minor scratches right here. I did want to be sure I pointed that out to you. It's right here. Just behind the shifter on the silver plastic. That's probably no big deal. It's obviously not something that's going to affect the reliability of this vehicle. And here, you're going to have some additional charging. You're going to have two USB and USB-C, it looks like, in there. But that might just be a USB. There's a hole in here. It feels like it would be a charger, but I don't think it is. But this is, this is just two, the two USBs. You can use those. And you have a good bit of space in here, too. Over here, let's take a look. You're going to have your book still. That's always nice. Here's your hazards right below your, uh, your entertainment center. So let's go ahead and pop this vehicle in reverse. Let's get a quick look at the uh, backup camera. And park it. And we are going to turn the vehicle off. And we're gonna look at the back. This one, I did want to make sure I told you that this one comes with two keys that are completely identical. They're going to be the smart key fobs. Go they are going to have a little hard key insert inside the smart key, but they are going to have identical key fobs with just a normal lock and unlock. It doesn't have remote start or anything like that on the fob. But you do have a, an alarm on here and your lock and unlock, and there just does come with two keys. Did want to make sure I told you that. Take a quick look at the back and really, you know, just kind of make sure of the condition. Everything's in. Everything looks pretty good. From the doors and the speakers to the, uh, you got some charging back here. Some, an additional two USB ports for your rear passengers. I'll let you see both of those. Then you got some cup holders in the door for your rear passengers and you also have them for in the middle in the middle seat if you're not using your middle seat for anything these seats also fold down in case you're not using these seats at all you can always fold these down and it allows you for more room to store things in the back if you're not using your back seats it's always pretty cool Let us know if you have any questions about this vehicle at all. Keep in mind, we do specialize in working in tire deals over the phone, and we also have delivery for free up to four hours away. Thanks for your time, and if you have any questions, like I said, give me a call anytime. You can only find this vehicle here at Gulf Auto Direct. Thanks again.